CrossFit Games spectators and contestants, including Lazar Dukic's brother, left Marine Creek Lake heartbroken Thursday. Many of them saw up close what people watching on TV noticed near the race's conclusion. The ex-water polo player, just a few dozen feet from lifeguards on paddle boards and a few dozen yards from the shore, struggling. Somebody actually jumped in and the one lifeguard came over and talked to him and told him to get out of the water. But he said, listen, somebody's drowning. She ended up going over to where he went under, but she just did a quick paddle around and then just paddled back out. I feel like at that point she needed to blow a whistle and stop the event. The event continued and witnesses say the lifeguards on paddle boards, kayaks and jet skis took little action. A Fort Worth Fire Department dive team found Dukic's body gutted about an hour later. I'm really sad. Don Fall is the CrossFit Games CEO. He would not detail the steps organizers took to protect athletes, but there was a plan in place for those lifeguards, he says. All of the details around um, the process, the event, what unfolded today, that'll be a part of the details that we work through very closely with authorities. That'll be part of the information um, uh, that's to come as part of the investigation. This is the first time Fort Worth has hosted the CrossFit Games, which had been mostly in Madison, Wisconsin since 2017. It's 30 degrees cooler there Thursday. Every time we, we plan for a new venue, we go through extensive planning. We were fully, you know, uh, uh, versed in, in, in preparing for it, very confident in, in uh, the event that we could plan and prepare. Um, precautions as relates to the heat around time of day that we went through, yes. Dukic and about 80 other athletes completed a three and a half mile run immediately before this roughly half mile swim. Traditional triathlons start in the water, so athletes aren't worn down until they reach the land. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Houston. All CrossFit Games were, CrossFit Game events rather, were canceled today. It is not clear if they will continue what is scheduled through the weekend. Now tonight at 6, we are going to go in depth about who this victim was and the moment spectators realized what was happening. That story coming up after World News Tonight with David Muir.